Welcome to TTV News with some latest events in the province. And now came into detail. The audience on November 10 at the Inter Homeless Cultural House of Rừng Dầu and Tân Lập, the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Tinh Thuận Khmer Bánh Cầu District organized the Rich National Unity Festival in 2022 and the 92nd founding anniversaries of the National United Front of Vietnam, the traditional days of Vietnam Fatherland Front. In 2022, the Fatherland Front coordinated and mobilized donors to give 740 gifts to the poor, building houses of gratitude, houses of great solidarity, and repairing houses for poor households. It has also presented gifts and notebooks to poor students, etc., particularly with the support of the Mass Mobilization Commission of Ho Chi Minh City Party Committee. The locality inaugurated the Border Patrol Road Solar Light Project. Outdoor sports facilities offer free medical examination and treatment for 450 people, donated bicycles to poor and studio students, and built great solidarity houses for poor households, etc., with a total value of 679 million vietnam dong. The district security and social order are always guaranteed. On this occasion, the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Binh District presented 12 gifts worth 350,000 vietnam dong each, and the Vietnam Fatherland Front Committee of Tinh Thuận Khmu gave 10 cash gifts worth 300,000 vietnam dong each to poor local households. The meeting to celebrate the 50th folding anniversaries of the Secondary Teachers College of Southern Vietnam will have a sunrise hotel in the evening of November 13. The event was attended by two deputy secretaries of the Tainan Provincial Party Committee and director of Tainan Departments of Education and Training. In fact, the secondary teachers' college of southern Vietnam no longer exists, but the teachers, staff, and former students of the first and second courses always remember fond memories of the war zone school during the resistance war. Realizing these special feelings, the Liaison Committee of the Secondary Teachers College of Southern Vietnam came to an agreement to hold the meeting. In the warm atmosphere of the meeting, the teachers and students of the two courses shared and revealed their memories of a time attached to the school. Also on this occasion, the organizing committee sent fresh flower bouquets to express their gratitude and respect to the teachers. Turn to other news, in order to unlock development resources in the new periods, in the coming time, then will continue to implement policies on training careers, civil servants, and public employees to create high-quality human resources in the public sector. Tenning's implementing decision number 27 dated May 26, 2015, and the decision number 40 dated November 30, 2017 of the Provincial People's Committee on amending and supplementing a number of articles of the Regulation on Postgraduate Training and Talent Attraction Policies. These are current documents stipulating the level of support funding of the province for cadre civil servants and public employees sent to postgraduate training and the attraction norms for graduates with excellent university degrees, people with master degrees and doctorate degrees. Since 2015, the province has had 470 cadre civil servants and public employees supported with policies on postgraduate training and also attracted 59 cases of university and postgraduate with high qualification working in healthcare agencies and units and provincial departments and branches. The implementation of the support policy has encouraged cadres, civil servants and public employees to participate in postgraduate training, gradually supplementing the contingent of cadres, civil servants and public employees with professional qualifications suitable for their positions at agencies and units capable of performing official duties and adept in handling work. The Youth Union of the Agencies and Enterprise Block, in collaboration with Hoa Nam Co Limited, organized the Youth with Traffic Culture Festival on November 12. The festival was held at the Center for Children's Learning and Activities, 
and gather a large number of union officials, union members, and youth from the union facilities in the block and students from high schools in the Ning city. Representatives of the traffic police team under the public security station of the Ning city informed about traffic order and safety in the city recently, disseminating the provisions of the road traffic law. The arriving technicians also analyzed some common violations and taught the union members and young people some self driving skills. The program is more exciting with quiz for brushes, practice on the electric rice models on pictures, and receiving valuable gifts. Many people also came here to visit and trans motorcycle oil for free. On November 12, the Health Center of Hoa Tan Tao, the Association for the Protection of the Poor of the Ning Province, in collaboration with the delegation of doctors from the High Tech Eye Department at Ho Chi Minh based Nguyen Chai Hospital, offered free eye surgery for the poor in Hoa Tan Tao. The people were screened and consulted for health care and eye protection before surgery. As a result, nearly 110 people had eye surgery by faco mulsification. Most of them were cataract and terrigium surgery. The patients were also supported by Kampong Pagoda in Guyou district, with a free breakfast and 50,000 vimdong in cash each. The total cost for nearly 110 eye surgeries were supported by the mentioned delegation, Mr. Trang Ngoc Phu and Mr. Dao An Tuong from Ho Chi Minh City. Ladies and gentlemen, with 92.5 km border line, two international border gates and one auxiliary border gate, the main district of Tainan province is a complex area in terms of security and order. In recent months, when the border has been reopening, the criminal situations has become more complicated. Many objects need to border area to seize opportunities to commit crimes. So crime repression requires the close attention of authorities and the cooperation of local people. Located in the border area, the security and order situation in the Lập Khâm Miu Tân Biên District is often complicated, especially in the last months of the year. To prevent and fight against dangerous crimes, functional forces have strengthened professional measures to contribute to ensuring the local security and order situation. The situation of theft and robbery is very complicated on the borderline, so we regularly organize patrols during peak hours on the borderline, especially in desertic areas, trails and pathways, or places where people often pass by to grab the situation information and manifestations of relevant subjects to proactively prevent robberies on the borderline. Promoting the key role of ensuring the local security and order, the Khmer police have been intensifying coordination with military forces and border guards to patrol and control the area, formally grab the internal and external situation, to actively exchange information in population and household registration management, as well as crime prevention on the borderline. As the border commune, the social security and safety work is very important. Right from the beginning of the year, we directed the commune police, military and border guards to strengthen patrols on the border, protect the border, especially trails and pathways. With the motto, prevention is the key, apart from professional work, the commune police also coordinate with the military and border guards stationed in the area to propagate and launch the movement on people to protect national security so that people can support the police force to fight against crimes. Our hamlet has implemented a model on people report crimes. Every month, we hold meetings for the leaders of the self-managing groups, mass organizations. Then, they will propagate to the people about the matters and trace of all kinds of crimes. Previously, this area used to be prone to theft, but now the situation is better. People's consciousness is higher. We know how to protect our property. Seeing strangers, we also report them to the competent authorities. 
In addition, Tân Lập Commune Police also consolidate and effectively maintain a model safe management of security and order in the area of Lagos Samad National Park, Zelo Group to propagate crime prevention and control. The force also promotes the role of local red to trust people in propagating and mobilizing households near the border to participate in denouncing crimes. I regularly remind the Khmer people to observe the police guidelines, the state's laws, and maintain security and order. The police chief of Hamlet and local police often remind people to take care of their property. I often go back and forth across the border to sell ice. Usually, I don't carry many properties so that I can call the police when needed. Since early 2022, Tân Lập Commune Police have dismantled 19 criminal cases involving crime of illegal drug trafficking, gambling, murder and robbery. It's predicted that the situation of crime of robbery, theft and cross-border illegal trading and transportation of weapons and explosives will be at high risk of occurrence, especially at the end of the year. So, right from this moment, Tân Lập Commune Police has implemented many professional measures to prevent crimes and social evils in the area, ensuring security and order situation, helping people feel secure to work and stabilize their lives. That's all for today, TTV News. Thanks for watching and see you next time.